What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweet called Pluck2. Now this was just updated for iOS 7, and what it allows you to do is actually access your music straight from the lock screen or in the control center. So it puts a really nice icon that you can see right here in the bottom left hand corner right there, just a plus and a little note symbol. And if you tap and hold for just a second and let go, it's gonna bring you directly to your playlist as you can see right here. So you can automatically just pick a playlist right here and you can set this up in a couple of different ways and I'm gonna show you that once we go into the settings. But you can select a multiple number of uh, songs right here just by tapping them and basically it's just going to create a playlist. So first, it should play Headlights, Legacy, then No Better Than Royal. So it should skip Same Love right here. So let's go ahead and click Done, and you can see right here that it's going to start playing that song. And if we skip right here, Legacy, No Better, and then it should skip No Love, and it goes directly to Royals. So no issues right there. So if we wanna open it back up, we can actually access the artists, the song, the albums, and even more over here. You can even access your iCloud content if you set that up in the settings. So let's tap done and we're going to go ahead and open up the settings here and I can show you exactly what you can customize. So let's scroll down here to pluck two and open that up. So here you can enable or disable it to be on your lock screen. You can also enable or disable it in your control center and I'll show you that in just a second. You can also change the icon. So if you want it to be a black icon, if you have a brighter wallpaper on your lock screen, then you can just toggle this on and it's gonna be a little more visible. So you can toggle that on to black and I'll do that as well as the black icon in the control center. We'll go ahead and toggle that on as well. Now here's what I was talking about earlier where you can pick multiple songs. So if you only want to play one song, basically what it does is once you select it, then it goes ahead and closes it and begins playing the song. So I'll show you that in just a second as well. Also on the iCloud items, you can see that you can toggle that on if you want to do so. Now let's go ahead and apply this and it's going to respring the device and then once it respring's, I'll show you the changes. All right, so now we're respring. You can see down here that we have a black icon right down there in the bottom left hand corner. Now if we go ahead and open this up so we can access it through the control center here. We'll pull up the control center and you can see the little icon right there and just tap on that and it's going to automatically open it up. Now if we go to a song, let's say we want to play uh, this one right here. You can see that it automatically closes out and begins playing that song and that's because I disabled the multiple selection of the song. So it's only going to choose one and then close it. So if you want to be able to like basically make a playlist on the go, then you're going to want to toggle on the multiple song selection. So a pretty cool tweak gives you quick access to your music app and allow you to make playlists on the go. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.